What's happening everyone? Byron here with Riders Domain. Today we're talking modular helmets, specifically the best modular helmets of 2018. We've selected five lids ranging from the price conscious all the way up to the most technologically sophisticated modular we've ever seen. And all five are available at ridersdomain.com. So we're going to run through each helmet individually. We're going to start uh, with the most affordable. We're going to work our way up to the most expensive. And then at the end of that, I'm going to make my selection for the modular helmet I'd most like to have. So buckle up buckaroos, because we're going to get rolling with the Speed & Strength SS1710. So our first pick is the Speed & Strength SS1710. This one makes the cut because it proves that you don't have to break the bank to get a quality modular helmet. It's made from an advanced thermopoly alloy shell that uh, meets DOT standards and altogether this helmet weighs 3 pounds 11 ounces. Now that's right in line with the weight of the other higher priced helmets in our selection. Inside you get a removable moisture wicking liner, uh, you get a drop down sunshield that's operated by a, a lever on the left hand side. Uh, and you also get a ventilation ports on the chin bar, up on the crown, and an exhaust vent out back. The intake vents on the chin and the uh, crown uh, are open closed, and the exhaust vent on the back is an always open design. Some other touches are uh, a chin curtain underneath to help reduce wind noise, road noise, when the uh, chin bar is down in the locked position, as well as a D-ring retention strap. The chin bar action is really smooth on this. It, it moves up and down really nice and it stays in the up position reliably. And, and when you have it on the down position, you get metal uh, components to keep it locked safely in place. At 199 bucks, you can get this split decision graphic that we have here, or for 10 bucks less, you can choose from any of the solid color options that Speed & Strength offers. So as we move up the price range, we're gonna see a lot more features on some of the other helmets. Uh, but the Speed & Strength really is great for the rider that's looking for a no-fuss, no-muss modular. Our next pick is the Bell SRT Modular. The SRT jumps up in price a little bit. You're going to be spending $350 bucks, uh, for this particular helmet. But what you get is a fiberglass exterior shell and a little bit sturdier design than the Speed & Strength. Uh, all in all, on our scales, the medium that we have here today weighs 3 pounds 14 ounces. This one also comes with a removable moisture wicking interior liner, and it also has a drop down sunshield. So the vents on the SRT are a little bit bigger, a little bit easier to use when you're wearing gloves. You can see that particularly on the chin bar vent and the crown vent. Now at the back, the exhaust vent is an always open design like the Speed & Strength. You also get a little bit larger size chin curtain than with the Speed & Strength, so there's going to be even more protection against road noise and wind coming up from underneath the helmet when the chin is in the down position. And when you have it down in the lock position, uh, the bell also has sturdy metal clasps uh, to make sure everything stays nice and secure. So one of the reasons that the SRT makes the cut is because Bell has dual DOT certification for this uh, as both a closed face and open face helmet. You also get the Panavision exterior shield with Bell's quick release uh, shield swap setup, which is really nice, really easy to use when you want to switch to a dark smoke shield, for instance. You also get speaker cutouts inside in case you want to fit a communication system. And Bell offers a five-year warranty on the SRT, along with a range of, of color and graphics options. So for a little bit more money than the speed and strength, you get a wider range of options with the SRT. Next up is the HJC ARPA 90. This is HJC's newest modular helmet and they've taken their premium ARPA uh, design which utilizes things like uh, premium integrated matrix uh, exterior shell which is a carbon, carbon glass hybrid material, uh, the slimness of the profile uh, to, to make a modular that's really pretty impressive. It tips the scales at three pounds, nine ounces. So it's a, one of the lighter helmets of our selection. This one's DOT and ECE approved for safety. It's got a wire actuated drop down sun shield that's both anti-fog and anti-scratch. The moisture wicking antibacterial liner can be removed and washed. 
and uh, HJC redesigned the ventilation layout to optimize airflow through the channels in the EPS. The vent openings on the chin bar and the crown are easy to use when you have gloves on, and HJC also includes adjustment options uh, on the rear exhaust vent as well. The HJC makes the cut because this is the brand's flagship model made into a slim, uh, lightweight modular. And the attention to detail and the design quality are apparent throughout. The HJC is a little bit more of an investment than either the Bell or the Speed and Strength, but you get the benefit of HJC's premier materials, design, and craftsmanship. Next up, we've got the Shoei Neotech 2. Now, since 2011, when Shoei first introduced its original Neotech, uh, this helmet has been a leader among modulars on the market. And the reason the Neotech 2 makes the cut is because Shoei took something that was good and made it even better. You are getting into some premium level pricing here though, with this helmet starting at $699. Shoei's renowned for its safety, so you get things like the multiply matrix shell, you get the dual density EPS, you know your head's gonna be safe in the Neotech 2. Some of the things about this helmet that really stand out to me are the new aerodynamic design. Now, Shoei uh, came to this after wind tunnel testing and things like the intake vents on the crown and the chin bar really integrate seamlessly into this new shape. And the exhaust out back is nice and big, so it's gonna push a lot of air through. So with that amount of air going through the helmet, you might imagine this helmet to be loud and noisy, but Shoei addressed that too. When we take a look underneath, uh, we can really see Shoei paid a lot of attention to the shape and the design of the cheek pads and the chin curtain and the uh, retention strap. Uh, when you have this thing secured on, it creates a nice seal around your jaw so air, road noise, things like that aren't going to be coming up underneath the helmet quite as much as with some of the other lids in our selection. The Neotech 2 is also designed to integrate Cena's SRL communicator seamlessly. And when you get down to the finer details of the Neotech 2, you can really see that Shoei put a lot of attention uh, into everything about this helmet. The gasket around the eye port creates a nice tight seal when the main face shield is down. Uh, the action of the chin bar is really smooth and it stays firmly in place when, uh, when in the up position. The retention strap is another interesting touch. It's a, it's a ratchet system rather than the D-ring. Uh, the ratchet design is really easy to use when you're wearing gloves and it just adds to the overall convenience of the helmet. The Neotech 2 we have in large weighs out at 3 pounds 15 ounces. Now that makes the Neotech 2 the heaviest helmet of all we've chosen, but you get a lot of really great features with this lid. Shoei also updated its chin bar locking and pivot mechanism, so you can be sure it's gonna stay securely in place whether you have the uh, chin bar open or closed. It's true you're gonna be spending a little bit more to get your hands on a Neotech 2, but what you get is proven reliability as regards safety and protection, and you also get uh, a really refined and really well-designed modular helmet. And last but not least, we've got the AGV Sport Modular. Now there's no way we could have a best modular helmet list for 2018 without the Sport Modular because this is the first full carbon fiber modular helmet available on the market. True, it's gonna cost you 750 bucks to get your hands on one of these, but what you get is an extremely lightweight lid. According to our scales, the AGV here in medium weighs out at three pounds, two ounces, and you can really feel it uh, when you pick this one up compared to any of the others that we've selected. That lightweight design is gonna make this helmet really nice if you're riding down the road with the chin bar up. Just for the fact that there's less mass to be you know, pulled around in the wind. And with the chin bar down, uh, you'll notice that AGV designed this helmet to be really effectively aerodynamic. The adjustable intake vents on the chin bar and crown are low profile and, and really complement the shape of the shell. And out back, you also get an adjustable rear spoiler. The action of the chin bar is really refined and the locking mechanism is really secure. 
And when we look inside, you're gonna notice a really, really plush interior. One interesting touch that AGV includes is with the crown portion of the liner. This is a double-faced piece, which means, you know, on a hot day, you can wear the Shalimar fabric on the outside to keep your head cool and wick moisture away. And then on colder days, you can flip it around and make use of Ritmo fabric, which is gonna help keep you warm and, and comfortable. As with the other modular helmets we've looked at, you do get a drop down sun shield with the AGV as well. There's also speaker cutouts inside and a D-ring retention strap. The AGV is gonna be awesome for the rider that logs a lot of miles because this lightweight carbon fiber design is really gonna reduce the amount of neck fatigue. Now of the five we've chosen, my favorite is the Neotech 2. I really like the attention that Shoei paid to these uh, cheek pads and the retention system underneath. Uh, you know, having a low noise helmet, especially a modular like this with a lot of moving parts, is really important. I also really like the action of the chin bar, that strong lock in the place when you've got it down in the down position. Uh, this you know, button to actuate the movement is, is nice and big. It's gonna be easy to use with gloves on. And Shoei is just a paragon of quality. I really like their helmets and this helmet is no different. All in all, you just, you can't argue with the attention to detail and the quality of design in the Neotech 2. And, and for those reasons, it would be my choice uh, for the best modular helmet of 2018. So there you have it. Those are our five picks for the best modular helmets of 2018. And all of them are available right now at ridersdomain.com. But now we wanna hear from you. You know which helmet's my favorite, but we wanna know what your pick would be. So go ahead and leave us a comment and tell us all about it. If you'd like to know anything more about any of the helmets here, follow the links in the description and be sure to subscribe to Riders Domain for more product spotlights and motorcycle reviews. Baked beans. Boiled beans. Fried beans. Bean puree.